side. So 2 cosine x plus pi over 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. Another linear type of equation. So the domain is given x is from the interval 0 to 2 pi. So first what we will do, we'll simplify that given equation. So we're going to remove 1 to the opposite side divided by 2. So this is why you see cosine x plus pi over 6 is equal to negative 1 over 2. So now we need to be aware of the following. Negative cosine is found in quadrant number 2. So you're going to see it right here. So that's the angle that you're going to be working with. And quadrant number 3, so the second angle that you're going to be working with will be the one that is marked in blue all the way here. Okay. So knowing that the ratio of uh, cosine is equal to 1 over 2 when pi is equal when x is equal to pi over 3 we're going to use that information to derive the value of cosine x is equal to negative 1 over 2 so what we will do now we will make this equation even simpler by doing substitution so let x plus pi over 6 be the same z. So what we have now is cosine z is equal to negative 1 over 2. So the new interval, if x is equal to 0, then you go 0 plus pi over 6. So z belongs to the following interval, pi over 6. So how do I know? Again, if x is 0, the value of z is pi over 6. If x is 2 pi, then you find the value of z as 2 pi plus pi over 6, which will give you 13 over 6 pi. Okay, so this is my new domain for z values. And my solution should fit into that domain. Okay, so z is equal to negative 1 over 2 when z is equal to pi. So let's look at the black marked angle. Pi minus that value in green. So positive cosine is pi over... 3, that will give me 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2 will be that angle pi minus pi over 3. So this is 2 over 3 pi. So that's my z value. Second time around in the third quadrant, you would be looking at that blue marked angle so to your pi value you add pi over 3 why pi over 3 because pi over 3 gives you 1 over 2 value for cosine ratio so z is equal pi plus pi over 3 so you have this solution 4 over 3 pi. So, so far we have found solution for z. Knowing that z is a secondary variable, we have to still express the solution in terms of x. So now, x, according to this equation, x is z minus pi over 6. So now z is 2 over 3 pi. So simply find the difference. 2 over 3 pi minus pi over 6. So x is equal to 
2 over 3, the same denominator, times 2, times 2, so 4, minus 1, 3 over 6, so that will be pi over 2, pi over 2, all right, and x, the second root, is equal to z minus pi over 6, so 4 over 3, pi, take away pi over 6, Again, common denominator, times 2, times 2, so 8 minus 1, so x is equal to 7 over 6 pi. And we know that on that interval, 0 to 2 pi, the only two values that would satisfy this equation, this equation are pi over 2 and pi over 6. You can always verify that by substituting into the original equation, and you will see that you will have it balanced. So you always make sure that you perform the verification. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.